the Wismec Sinuous V80. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Fred McKeer back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Wismec Sinuous V80, a brand new mod from them. We're looking at it as a kit with the Armour SE tank on top. Uh, a tank we have seen before, but it's been upgraded and improved like a lot of companies tend to, tend to do these days. So we've got the uh, Armour SE on top and the Sinuous V80 down below, and it comes as a kit. Um, it comes as a kit for £50, and the mod alone is £30. This is uh, Wismex affordable kit of 2019 and uh, yeah it's a pretty good job of that the mod itself 18650 um, removable battery 80 watts TC TCR all that good shit um, it has a very funky style to it um, it's like very very hand friendly like the OBS cube was that we've all talked about recently um, it's got that very hand friendly feel to it um, but it's got uh, a very cool sort of Sifu plasticky look to it you can see the full board through it you can't see all the nasty bits that's covered up nicely um, but you can actually see through and see the cool bits the board and all that uh, it's got a very nice unique styling and look to it uh, 80 watts TC, TCR, all that good stuff. Um, 26 mil fits on top. This is a 26 mil tank. And uh, yeah, it fits nice and flush, so your big stuff will go on here. A 25 mil RDA, for example, will look great on here. And there's a range of colours available. You've got, I think, yellow, green, red, and black, something like that. Um, so there is four colours available as well. It's a very, very clever tank, this one. This is uh, this is the Wismec, ta Wismec tank, which does both mouth-to-lung and direct-to-lung. So what it has is two completely different coil heads available. Um, we'll run down all the resistances when we come back up top, uh, but they've got a cloudy coil head and a mouth-to-lung coil head, and what they've got is fully adjustable airflow, which allows you to spin it right round to here, and be super super tight as well as wide open should you want it. So a very interesting tank as well which we will talk about when we come back up top. So let's dive down low, have a really quick look at this, spin back up top for pros and cons on this Sinuous V80 kit from Wismec, let's go. Okay guys here we are down low with the Sinuous V80, no point hanging around let's just crack on with this down low section. So this is the tank, the Amor. NSE uh, and it is the the latest version of this uh, Amor tank that they've done uh, several versions of uh, very very solid very highly rated overall this tank so you've got your drip tip 510 styly matches the plasticky uh, thingy as well the tank top fill there stick your juice in that hole uh, if uh, if you want to top fill it you've got your adjustable airflow now this is funky because Look, you've got your mouth to lung set in here as well. Spin it round all the way open if you're using the direct to lung coil head. But if you're using the mouth to lung coil head, just go for the old one hole. Nice. Um, opening them up, you know, you've got uh, a new mesh coil. Let's try and give you a look at that. Might make a mess here, we'll see. Um, so we've got the new mesh style coil head. I'll try and show you some proper pictures up top of that, the new mesh coil head. Uh, that is new to this latest iteration of the tank. There we go, there we go, like that. And then we've got this coil head as well. This is the mouth to lung coil head, which I have used before. I can't remember which uh, review it was, but I used this uh, exact mouth to lung coil head before. Uh, very nice mouth to lung head indeed. You see how it's, they've made it nice and small to get the airflow right. Loads of nice organic cotton in there. Does work as a nice steady mouth to lung uh, vape as well. Uh, so that is the mouth to lung coil head. So the, ca the tank can do either very nicely indeed. Spring loader 510, 26 mil goes on here nicely. This is actually a 26 mil tank. I should say as well there's two versions of the tank TPD 2 mil and a normal 3 mil capacity one as well and the TPD one does have the uh, locking feature 
uh, built into the top fill, uh, which is a, a requirement in some parts of the TPD, some, some countries of the TPD. Okay, so moving around to the mod. So what we've got here is, sorry about my fingerprint marks, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as they say. Um, but you've got Wismec on here, you've got your solid plastic, the range of colours available for this, there's four colours available. Sinuous V80 written here. Uh, and then as you can see, this bit here is see-through. So you can actually see the board through here. Pretty funky, actually. Sometimes it doesn't look good with the whole see-through thing. This one does, in my opinion, and I think the reason for that is they've hidden the ugly bit and they've kept the cool-looking bit in the front of the board. Um, so I think it looks really cool. I really like the look of this. Uh, very similar sort of size and shape to the um, cube, the OBS cube, if you remember that one from like a day or two ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is uh, that is that. Micro USB, uh, your batteries are held in there. 18650. Happy days. Okay, so micro USB minus plus fire. One, two, three, four, five. And we are on. No fussing, no messing, a very simple to use thing this. And a, a very similar sort of screen to the you know original DNA 60, was it? Um, so there we go. So yeah, a very familiar looking layout. Battery life, ohms, volts, amps, wattage, one, two, three. And uh, you can go through your options. So you've got your TC, NI, bypass mode, wattage mode. You've got your uh, TCR modes there, your memory modes. Um, all that good stuff. It's the exact same layout as as uh, they have been for a while now, these things. So one, two, three. It just takes you into that menu. One, two, three, four. Allows you to adjust your wattage in TC mode. That's the one that people often ask me how to do. But there you go, you can adjust the Celsius here too. There we go. One, two, three. Back out into wattage mode. Happy days. And you can see, even on camera, it's a super bright, clear, easy to read screen. It's not too complicated. Nice and simple. So there we go, really. That's the Sinuous V80 from Wismic with the Amore NSE tank. Let's, uh, let's fly back up top, pros and cons. Okay, guys, that was the Sinuous V80 down low with this Amore SE tank uh, down low as well. Cracking kit. This is a cracking kit, guys. I'm just going to balls out the bathtub straight away on this one. I think it's a cracking kit. I like it when I get why a kit exists. We've talked about this a lot in recent weeks. I've been sort of, well, I don't know who this is really for or what's this really, who's going to get this or, you know, and we've been struggling with that in recent weeks. I totally get why this exists. It's 2019. Wismec want to do a single cell regulated affordable mod. Affordable being the key bit. And they want to do a tank which is good for any kind of vapor. Again, affordable. And this is a super, super affordable kit. 30 quid for the mod, 50 quid for the kit. And uh, unlike a lot of budget and affordable gear out there, this is cracking in my opinion. I really like the style of the mod. I really like the removable 18650 battery. I really like the board. We'll come back to a lot of this stuff when we sum up. But uh, yeah, I think I totally get why this kit exists. And I think it's a very, very good kit for a lot of reasons that I'll get into. Just focusing on this tank for a second, we've got top fill, we've got a range of, coil of coils available for this. The tank matches the mod if you get it as a kit, so this glass section matches this section here if you get it as a kit. Now, the actual tank. So, when you get the, in a kit, when you get this tank, you get two coil heads. Now, you get the 0.27 coil head, which is the WSM, and that is the new tank for the, the new coil head for this kit. This is a mesh coil head now, and uh, it's recommended best is 45 watts, which is what I'm at. 45 watts uh, with this new mesh coil. Great flavour and great clouds, really screaming. And the, the really good thing about this is that best of 45 watts. 45 watts is the perfect wattage range to be at on a mod like this, a single cell regulated mod. 45 watts will have good battery life. 
a lot of these kits now are coming with too high wattage requirement for the actual single cell thing so that's very very good it also comes with another coil head a mouth to lung coil head that one is called the WS04 mouth to lung 1.3 ohm coil head and that is recommended 8 to 14 watts and I did use that in a previous review that is a coil head that's already been out there it's, it's actually a very solid mouth to lung coil head that uh, I did quite like first time round uh, and I will cover that when I come back to this tank in a future review because I need to cover this one as well this is the sinuous v200 mod which again has this same tank so we'll come back around to that mouth to lung coil head when we get there but I already know I like it because I've used it before so there we go so that is the coil head situation uh, in terms of pros and cons for this tank overall I really like the tank when you put it down to the mouth to lung settings it is a real mouth to lung it's quite loose but it's a real mouth to lung vape um, when you're in full, full lung mode great cloudy tasty all that good stuff smooth for a sub tanks not that noisy you know um, a lot of them are top fill works very very well as well the only thing I'll say about that over time it'll probably get quite slack um, so something to bear in mind but I'm talking about over quite a lot of use it feels like it might get a bit slack and that's the tr that's true for a lot of these top fill that work like this um, but so the yeah a, a solid tank I'll ta a tank I quite like a tank I quite like for sure the uh, Amore SNSE right so this uh, so that is that that is that that's the tank the mod itself Sinuous V80, a Sinuous V80 single cell 18650 mod, 80 watts TC on here as well. All that good stuff. Really nice, bright, clear screen. This this mod does a lot of things that I'm really, really happy with. First of all, it fits big atties on top. You can fit 26, 25 mil uh, atties on here. A lot of these mods that are coming out don't fit still don't fit the big tanks and the big RDAs this one goes up to 26 which for a single cell mod is very very good indeed very impressive completely centered 510 spring loaded working very very well the next thing I really like about this is the looks so many affordable mods so many budget mods look like budget mods this one looks classy this one looks cool it looks funky without being over the top so many mods are over the top as well it's it looks like you know a totally nice smart black mod on here yeah and then you've got your lovely smoked glass here where you can see inside and see the board it's cool it's cool looking it is cool looking mod so i like that as well uh, screen is nice and bright nice and clear that's all good You've got your micro USB if you want it. It's got TC if you want it. All that sort of stuff. The In terms of power output and the way TC performs and everything, the TC performs excellently. I have noticed at higher wattages with this mod in testing that you do occasionally feel that little wave effect. So I think it's a very high frequency pulse width modulated mod. Certainly to get to the upper end of the wattage, that is what seems to be what it's doing. Uh, just occasionally, I've just felt that little pulse width wave um, in the actual vape I haven't got an oscilloscope but that's what I'm feeling I am here to tell you though that for me hasn't been a problem in my vape experience hasn't been a wavy vape in normal use just very occasionally you feel the little flutter of it um, so yeah power output on the whole seems very very good indeed certainly in this wattage range that this tank is asking you to use so that is all good like I just said before as well, I really like that the tank matches the mod, not just in looks, but in vape style. It's the correct tank for this vape style. And that seems so simple to me and you watching this, but for whatever reason, so many kits are released with a tank that's too high power and a mod that's too weak to do it. And it's bizarre to me that that's the case, but uh, this is a very good kit. Uh, I'm quite pleased with this. I'm quite excited by it. I'm, I'm quite pleased. Um, as you can see, in terms of negatives, I don't know really. I don't know what you'd say. This is a very cool shape. It's a very cool size. It's a very cool weight. It's plastic based. So it's nice and light as well. I think it's a really handy 45 watt banger. I think it really is. I think it looks cool as well. At last, <laughs> a cheap mod that looks cool. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, so yeah, I, overall I'm pleased with this. Really pleased with that. I think it's really good. I think it's a really good budget mod. No issue with the tank, no issue with the performance of the coils, anything like that. No issues whatsoever, really. Not at all. And that's why I'm quite excited by it. 
Let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.